Welcome back to Redneck in a Hat. And today we're going to open up a new Cuddy Back Trail camera that I've got. It's the Black Flash. Cuddy Back. Black Flash. This is it, everybody. Um, first Cuddy Back camera I've ever had. I've had a lot of cameras, but uh, this one's from uh, Cuddy Back Digital. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Cuddy Back in any way. I'm not affiliated with any camera uh, manufacturer um, I don't have any sponsors as of this recording I do not okay can't speak for uh, future videos but I've never been sponsored by a, a camera company this one here is the Cuddy Back um, Black Flash model 1231 hold it up here a little closer this is it see if I can get this out of here without tearing the box up too bad Uh, comes with the uh, owner's manual and this one comes with uh, it's a USA offer I guess this offer is only good in the USA but uh, looks like you fill this out because you bought the camera and they will send you a promo pack a genius mount Two pack that includes the pan mount and lock mount and two lock clips and screws free no cost well you do have to send them ten dollars for shipping and handling but it looks like this thing that they send you cost 28 bucks if you was to buy it but you send them 10 bucks for shipping and handling and Well, I guess all on the back it does have an international offer. International offer. Um, well, I don't understand this because the international offer, it says they charge you $5. And shipping is between $20 and $40. A pretty good deal I may have to send that in and get this mount and this mount it looks like what it does is it mounts onto the tree and it it and then your camera mounts to it to where you can pivot it up down I don't think this mount swivels side to side it just mounts up to where you can tilt it up or down but they do have they do have a, a, a some mounts that do turn I believe we got a post mount you can order and you can order that from this uh, piece of paper too and a cutty safe which is a safe it's like a metal box that this camera goes into and you can put a padlock on it just in case you're in bear country uh, keep the bears from chewing on your camera um, you can lock this metal box to the tree padlock it in there to keep somebody from just up and taking your camera if they find it uh, may have to get one of those too. But anyway, let's see what we got in the box. Looks like we got a strap. Kind of a tan colored strap. We got like a D ring on one end and uh, the adjusting clamp on the other end to strap it around the tree and this little bracket this little bracket you can mount onto the tree but it come with two screws right or not maybe it didn't let's see here anyway this piece would mount you can mount this on a fence post a wood fence post on the side of a barn um on on a tree put two screws and then the camera just slides down on it like that that way you can just take it on and off to check your 
batteries or whatnot. But a little, a little bit about this camera. Um, see, it's got like the black flash up there. This is a 20 megapixel photo and 720 HD video with sound. Um, you can set the camera to uh, take video plus sound, or you can take it and set it so it takes video plus a photo. So that way you got a photo plus a video at the same time. You can set it for 10 seconds video, 20 second video, or 30 second video. It has a quarter second trigger speed, which is pretty fast. Um, just and oh, and it does have an adjustable motion sensor control, which is right here. This here's your motion sensor. You can you can pull this down to open up your sensor to where it takes a wide sensor path. You know, it reaches out to the sides a lot farther. That way, if you're setting it in a field, a bean field or a hay field, where you want to take a you know catch motion from a wider path. You just slide this little thing down. If you're probably in the woods where you're just wanting this to mainly focus on a trail, a narrow path, you can slide this up. You can see here. See how it opens up the sensor when you pull it down. Slide this up and it make it it takes off the the sides basically, so that it's just mainly looking straight in front of it. That'd be more for a trail, a path, a place where the deer or something jump over the fence may to be if you're just wanting motion right at a feeder that would work. Anyway it has a time lapse uh, you can set it for 10 second time lapse all the way up to 24 hour time lapse. Um, so you could use this other than just out in the woods for hunting. You could set it on a job site uh, anything if you wanted to just take time-lapse photos you can program this for for day only photos and videos you can program it for only night only photos and videos or you can set it to do day and night both the IR uh, lenses up here uh, it has over four watts of IR power illumination and it has up to a 50 foot range which is a pretty good range a lot of your cameras are only uh, around 30 35 uh, foot range this one goes up to 50 it would be perfect for a longer distance like if you was wanting to take video or photos out into a field where the deer may not be quite up to the camera as far you know they're out there a lot farther you're gonna get better illumination out to them at night the LEDs uh, give off no visible light for total concealment. When this takes a video or a photo, there's no flash. These lights don't glow. Nothing. The other thing about this this camera that I I haven't had a camera uh, have on it yet, it has an internal memory. It still takes a memory card, but you forget to put your memory card in there, or um, so you go out and forget to take a memory card with you take the old memory card out close it back up turn it back on it will hold some pictures it'll hold up to uh, 120 megabytes um, which I don't know how many videos that would take but it would hold quite a few photos but that way you can get to the house get a new card uh, or whatever and it will hold uh, data while there's a memory card not in it. Uh, it will hold up to a 32 gigabyte memory card, SD card. Um, it does take an SD card. Um, let's see here. Which I have a card here for it. It didn't come with a card. You got to supply your own card and you got to supply your own batteries. But it does take the bigger size. Um, if you buy the small card, you're going to need the bigger adapter to put it in. Just slide it in the adapter and then insert it. It inserts from the bottom. There's a little uh, 
old thumb screw here that keeps the the door shut so i'll take this off this is the bottom of the camera and of course i'm not for sure which way this goes in but it looks like the the contact points face the front of the camera let me see if that goes in yep it does go in that way it'll only go in one way and then also on the bottom is um it looks like the older square usb port but anyway the card is in i'm gonna close this back up screw the little thumb screw down help keep any moisture out of it and then next to it it's got a little rubber a little rubber flap here you open that up and that is an external power which Cuddyback has uh, an external power pack um, I may look at getting one of them to just to give you it, it, what it does is it gives it more battery life so that you don't have to change the batteries as often I believe it takes um, uh, D batteries if I remember right but anyway when I get one I'll do a review on it and then to do your settings this opens up from the front this is kind of a plastic with rubber rubber hinge on it I don't know how well or how long this will last because it's like I say it's just rubber and there's what the front of the camera looks like with it with it open you can see the the little screen here the buttons got the batteries in it on the back two little uh, brass thumb screws here and they have if you can see here little o-rings are kind of a red o-ring underneath to help I guess moisture from getting in uh, there it is kind of got to pry on it to get it out and it does have a seal on it the door which that seal just come off when I pulled it off so I'm gonna have to stick that back on all right this is inside the seal you can see the black rubber and if it does come off on you just it's not stuck on it just it's just held in place on little tabs there's the back of the camera it takes eight double A batteries I have eight here I'm gonna stick eight batteries in get the batteries in now I'm put the uh, um, let's see is there okay there's a top and a bottom of this cover the back cover it's got this little tab right here on the bottom it has to be pointing down there's a place there for it so you can't put the cover on upside down it has to be on on the right direction I'm guessing because of the, the thing that slides down on this piece if you put it on upside down it wouldn't slide on all right now the batteries are in and it, it did light up um, so I'm going to get this camera set and I say we go put it out today let's do that everybody be right back as soon as I get this set up we'll get out to the woods and uh, hook it up okay we're back out in the woods anyway got the camera set up got the strap put on uh, I got this threaded through this bracket that it comes with I'm not going to screw this to the tree um, we're just going to strap it on and the camera just slides down on it anyway let's get this strapped to the tree
Well, something I don't like about this camera already. Strap ain't very long. It won't even go on a tree that's about 13, 14 inches in diameter. So uh, we're gonna have to find a smaller tree to put it on. Let's go. All right, I got the camera set up right here, right here on this tree. Anyway, I did notice when I was looking through the book um, before I came out, I wanted to make sure, I, I think I got the settings set right. Anyway, um, whenever you don't have a, a memory card in it and it stores photos or videos on internal memory, when you stick the card in, you do have to go to settings and click something in the settings to get it to transfer the data to the memory card don't look like any big deal but it's better than not having internal memory I just wanted to point that out because I think earlier in the video I said that it automatically does it you actually have to go to settings and click something to get it to do it um, I believe that it does tell you if there's data that's not on the memory card that's on the internal memory I believe it does say that maybe on the screen I haven't tried that but anyway I just wanted to make you guys aware of that if you have one of these or getting one to check into that but anyway I'm hoping I have it set right like I say I've never had a cutty back never had one with this program in it so uh, we're gonna do a trial and learn here I'm gonna be doing a follow-up video when I come out to check these and uh, see how good it does. All right, some of the good and bad that uh, maybe on this cutting back camera, I noticed the strap that comes with it is not long enough. Um, I tried putting it on a tree that was, uh, you know, 13, 14 inches round. Strap wouldn't go all the way around it. You need a small tree to put this strap on. Um, so check your strap. Um, you may have to. Uh, you know come up with a different uh, one inch nylon strap um, but anyway uh, that that's probably the biggest disappointment for right now until I um, get photos and videos off of it as far as setting it up uh, there's an easy mode and an advanced mode in the settings I clicked easy mode and then I couldn't figure out how to get to advanced mode so that may be an issue. I'm going to have to get back in the book and see uh, see what the deal was with, with that and to see what the, the settings are. And I didn't see, unless it's in the advanced mode, because I didn't get to look in the advanced mode because I couldn't get into it, but uh, I didn't see where you switch from um, video and sound to video and photo. I, I, I didn't see the... I know it's got to be in the advanced mode, but I couldn't get in there. Um, I didn't see in the easy mode how to uh, switch from just day photos to just night photos to doing day and night photos. So I'm sure it's got to be in the advanced mode. Um, but like I say, I clicked on easy mode just to see what was in there and then I couldn't get into advanced mode I'm just gonna have to get the book and, and, and read through that so I just wanted you guys to know that ahead of time to uh, if you're looking at those settings they're probably in the advanced mode as far as changing from video to sound to video and photo and to changing uh, whether you want night pictures day pictures or both um, but anyway <sighs> We'll just see what it's i've got it set on easy mode right now so i don't know really what easy mode is going to give me so until now i'm redneck in a hat hit that subscribe button everybody i'm going to be putting a follow-up video to this uh when i come back out to get the uh, videos or photos whatever it takes i don't know anyway i'm redneck in a hat and we're going to spin you out of here